I'm showing you exactly how to download Horion Client. So to get it, you want to head over to horion.download. This is Horion Client's official website. It is going to be linked down in the description below as well, actually. Together with my Discord server, you can find many more clients just like this one. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here, simply click on the green download button and the download will automatically start. Now here as you can see in my downloads I have the Horion Injector and here I also have a version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition that Horion supports. Anyways I can simply to open this up double click on the injector just like so and this right here is the Horion Injector. Basically, to use this, all you need to do is click on the green inject button, and that is automatically going to inject into Minecraft. As I said earlier, make sure that you're using a version that Horizon supports. If you're using an unsupported version, then you'll get a large white pop-up on screen saying that your version is unsupported, and that'll also actually tell you which versions are. If you want to use Horion for older versions or unsupported versions of Minecraft, then I will link a tutorial I have made specifically for that down in the description below. Anyways, for right now, I'll just briefly head into a Minecraft world and show you how to get started using this. If you want a full in-depth tutorial that covers everything about Horion Client, then I have also made that and I will link that in the description below as well. Anyways, to get started using this, you can simply press on the insert button on your keyboard and that is going to open up this click GUI area right over here. If you want to change that insert button or if you, for example, don't have one on your keyboard, then sim you can simply open up the chat and then type in dot bind click GUI just like this and then any key you want. For example, F. And now, as you can see, the key bind of click GUI is going to be F, meaning that I can press on F to open and close this. Anyways, this area here is the click GUI, and this contains all of the utilities and hacks that Horizon Client has. You can simply click on these to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. Right clicking on them is going to give you a little bit of a drop down customization menu. Now, as you can see, some of these are going to have more customization than others. Anyways, by hovering above these, you do also get uh, a description of what exactly the utility does down in the bottom left hand side of your screen. For the rest, this should actually be pretty self explanatory to use. Anyways, if I close out of here, you'll notice that on my screen there is a few uh, Horizon related things. Everything that shows up on your screen can be managed through this GUI section over here. These utilities. Uh, should mostly be enabled by default and are things that are going to show up on your screen. You will see the watermark, for example, in the bottom right hand side. Uh, anyways, if you want to turn that off, you can simply do so by turning off that utility right over there. Anyways, in the top left, uh, you can see something and that is actually known as the tab GUI. What that allows you to do is simply whilst you're just inside of Minecraft, you can actually navigate the click GUI area using the arrow keys on your keyboard. As you can see, I'm doing that right now, and uh, you can walk around whilst doing that if you wish to do so. Um, anyways, some people prefer that. Anyways, if you want, don't want it on your screen, then you can of course turn that off over here. If you want to customize it, you can right click on that to do so. Anyways, for the rest, you'll also find all of the other GUI or HUD elements right over here. For the rest, some utilities that are used really often are the x-ray one over here, which actually allows you to x-ray, as you can see. Together with the x-ray, Fulbright is often used, which increases the brightness to a maximum, as well as the ESP, which makes it easier to find entities around you. There are also different types of ESPs that can be used for different things. Anyways, for the rest, Kill Aura, Reach as well as auto sprint right over here and velocity are also often used utilities anyways for the rest i can close out of there the click gui should be kind of pretty uh, self-explanatory definitely not very hard to use anyways opening up the chat over here you'll saw that earlier i actually typed in something that allowed me 
to complete an action. That is because Horizon Client supports commands. Instead of beginning with a slash, these begin with a dot. I can type dot help in the chat, and that is going to give me a list of all the commands that Horizon Client has, together with a description of what exactly they do. If you're still unsure of how to use a command, you can simply type that command in chat, and then you'll get the exact usage, as you can see. Anyways, for the rest, some of these commands, like the game mode command or the give command, are still going to be broken for multiplayer, and they are probably never going to get fixed. So, uh, just so you know that, I, I also made, because it gets asked so often, an entire video explaining exactly why these commands are probably never coming back for multiplayer. Anyways, for the rest though, that was basically that. Of course, if you have any questions or the like, do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye!